What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from the Partridge Capital, and we're here with Kyle Floyd, CEO of Vox Royalty. Nice to have you back, Kyle. How are you doing? Aaron, I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me back on. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited to get these updates. You guys just released some exciting news. So Vox announced record revenues in Q1 2022 as you guys continue to execute and deliver awesome results. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah, really a fantastic quarter for us. And put it in perspective, this almost $1.86 million CAD top line revenue equates to essentially what was our an, our initial annual guidance for all of 2021. We ended up doubling that guidance in mid-year, but it puts in perspective how significant this quarter is. It is a result of a lot of years of hard work, execution, and disciplined execution of our business model, and that growth from one producing asset to five producing assets. And we saw one of our very material assets, the Segula Gold Royalty, that was a full quarter of production from that asset. So very significant in terms of driving this revenue growth. No, that's great. And it's awesome to see you guys execute quarter over quarter. We've covered that for quite a while. So on this topic, Vox has continued to execute quarter over quarter, regardless of market conditions. How have you been able to stay so consistent while delivering such great results? Well, one of the interesting things is the market is very difficult right now. It's it's very volatile. The macro backdrop is is certainly confusing and creates a tremendous amount of volatility. For a very long time, we've been disciplined in terms of creating diversification within our business, within our revenue streams and our various assets, not just across different assets, but also across different commodities. So we've seen the, the buoyancy of metal prices really serve us well. Uh, and we're not exposed to the inflationary pressures. So the ability to really harvest what's good um, or what, what typically performs well during inflationary times, commodities, hard rock commodities specifically, um, and not be exposed to the rising input costs the mining companies are, has really benefited our shareholders and I think is you know being reflected um, certainly in some of the, maybe the outperformance of Vox Royalty Corp at a share price level. Well, that's really interesting. So we all know that Vox is targeting a NASDAQ uplisting. Can you give us any updates on that? Uh, we are working very expeditiously on that. We hit all the uh, qualification metrics that the NASDAQ needs to see. So it is at this point really just uh, us kind of fulfilling and, and executing on the process that the NASDAQ requires. So, um, you know, we feel good about where we're at in the process and expect that to be accomplished this summer. Yeah, I know that should be great for you guys. So when it comes to future prospects for Vox, is there a specific commodity or commodities that you're particularly interested in? Well, we are precious metal focused. Mm-hmm. And so, and I would say within that gold focused. So we have built what is largely a precious metals weighted portfolio that will continue to be the focus for Vox. But that being said, when we find really good royalties over great projects at very good valuation for our shareholders, we will execute on those. And we're seeing the fruits of that. Our precious metal royalties are performing well. Our iron ore royalties are performing exceedingly well. And across kind of the spectrum, we also have revenue from diamond royalties. So it's it's a very strong portfolio. I think that diversification adds a tremendous amount of value for our shareholders. We're seeing that both help our growth rate, lower a lot of the volatility in the business. And ultimately that should be lowering the discount rate that investors apply against our cash flow and make us what we believe is a lot more attractive than many of our peers. Meanwhile, we're trading at a discount to a lot of our peers. So I I believe when you look forward for Vox, we're continuing to increase the investor awareness. We noted in this press release, we're gonna be very active here over the next few weeks and few months, uh, educating investors on what Vox is doing and why we're so excited about the business. Well, that's awesome. So what are some of the major catalysts that shareholders and investors should be looking out for this year, you know, now or later on? Well, we've touched on some of them. And the reality is a lot of this revenue growth is is derived from really two principal factors, assets coming into production and then increasing production and achieving a very you know, high sustained commodity price that we're seeing across the board. And so what you'll see in terms of catalysts is I think more of the same, which is fantastic, which is production numbers increasing and new assets coming online and, and commencing production, which is a tremendous kind of crystallization of value event for our shareholders as revenue is ultimately how you're measured. And when we have new assets coming online that are starting to generate their inaugural uh, revenue for, for our shareholders is very, very significant. So that's happening. We expect to go from five producing assets to eight producing assets this year based on operator guidance. We expect production to increase at some of our already in-production assets. 
And then we will continue to make really a creative, fantastic acquisitions in the, in the third party royalty market where we're able to source deals and source opportunities, we believe better than anybody else operating in the royalty sector to date. So we're excited about where our business projects. And then we already touched on it. That's complemented by what I think is a very strong external factor, which is a NASDAQ listing um, that we aim to achieve this summer. So there's a tremendous amount of very positive catalyst in front of us. Lots to look forward to, and we'll have to have you back to talk about those, hopefully some celebrations along the way as well. So, um, you know, in, inflation has been a concern for investors. It's caused a lot of volatility in the markets. You know, with interest rates on the rise, why is now potentially a great time to own shares of Vox? Well, the fundamentals continue to improve. Commodity prices are really one of the safe haven asset classes in an inflationary regime. Mm-hmm. Like we touched on it before, in the last nine inflationary regimes, hard rock mining commodities have performed exceedingly well and, and been, if not the best performing asset, one of the best performing assets. And so that's where we derive our, our exposure from. And then we're really in a nuanced, I believe, advantage position. And it's easy to see why. We're taking top line revenue percent interest in, that's what these royalties generate. So it's a percentage of revenue, meaning we're not exposed to the variable and fixed cost structures of mining companies that are increasing alongside inflation. And it's sometimes worse than the standard inflation rates that you hear, because a lot of the variable costs are linked to consumables like diesel mill uh, balls for ball mills, et cetera, that are going up a lot in price right now. So we're insulated from the inflationary cost pressures, but benefited by commodities, which generally perform very, very well. And we've seen that play out. Yeah, no, it's a great time for you guys and I'm uh, excited to cover it. So where's the best place for investors to find out more information about the company? So voxroyalty.com is the website. That's a great place to start uh, feeling your way through Vox and finding out more about us. We're, of course, on all the typical social media channels as well. And then for individual email requests for more information or specific questions, ir at voxroyalty.com is the email address to use. And I'm on answering emails quite frequently. Perfect, Kyle. Well, thanks a lot for the updates. It was nice to have you back on. I'm sure we'll have you back as you guys do a fantastic job with communication. And uh, it's been exciting watching you guys execute so far. So best of luck. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate that. We're uh, certainly to have a busy period ahead. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information education and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.